Credible sources? Huh. This is an incredibly credible source, like I said. Credible sources. A couple of days ago, Jesse on fire dropped a video talking about the Jake Paul and Logan Paul incident. And then he talked about Justin Gaethje's reaction to the most recent fight night and how he was talking about the gloves, the Trevor Whitman gloves. And the issue with the UFC gloves at the moment is the glove extends the hand open. So it sort of forces the hand open and, and that's what's leading to a lot of eye pokes. Uh, that's why Justin Gaethje was kicking off because Trevor Whitman has designed a glove that curves the hand and stops the eye poke. And the question is, what everyone's asking is, why aren't the UFC using these gloves, these Trevor Whitman gloves? And Jesse on Fire's uh, come out saying that he's got the inside scoop, he's got the credible sources. I'm just sick of the guy, bare-faced fucking lying. So we're going to have a look into those credible, credible sources of his and find out really what's going on. This is an incredibly credible source. <laughs> So how credible are those Jesse on Fire sources? <laughs> well, they're not very credible, let me tell you. I'm going to show you why. Just watch. Because I got the inside scoop on why the UFC is not switching out the UFC gloves. He's full of shit. I'm going to let him dig his hole first. And then once he's dug that hole, we're going to pull it apart and show you what these credible sources actually are and where you got these uh, this information from. Now, I get, again, what I've heard is through credible sources, but, you know, I haven't talked to uh, Trevor Whitman about it or uh, the UFC. So the two people that can confirm this are the UFC and Trevor Whitman, and you've not spoken to either of them. They look like this, all right? So these are the gloves on the left versus the UFC ones, okay? These are not the fucking gloves. Those are the fucking pride gloves, you absolute pleb end. Fucking Al Jesse on fire, you infuriate me. It's not even that hard to Google the Trevor Whitman gloves. I'll pop one in the fucking video right now. The actual gloves look nothing like that. They, they're similar, they're curved, but they're, they are pride gloves. They are not fucking uh, Trevor Whitman gloves. As you'll see, the Trevor Whitman gloves are actually pretty fucking smart, to be fair. And the padding's different on it because they've got padding around the side. Oh, fucking hell, Jesse on fire. You infuriate me, man. Dickhead. I started asking around once I heard that about why the UFC had not implemented these gloves. And so what I found out... So this is where it gets interesting. And this is what pisses me off about Jesse on fire because he's acting like he broke the story. He's got super credible sources that no one knows about. And he spoke to fighters, Anthony Smith, blah, blah, blah. All this shit that he's been talking. When, in fact, the story broke four or five years ago when Rashard Evans went on to the Joe Rogan show and showed Joe Rogan the, the gloves, the Trevor Whitman gloves. And it kick-started everyone talking about it four or five years ago. Is that apparently the UFC wanted to purchase the the patent on those gloves, right? So the UFC wanted to make a deal with Trevor Whitman. This is, all, again, this is all total hearsay. I've not spoke to Trevor Whitman about this. I haven't spoke to Gaethje about this. Uh, but again, these are credible sources that I've spoken to. And essentially, the UFC wanted to buy the design to the gloves. And Trevor Whitman's like, no, he just wants to license them to the UFC. UFC doesn't want to make that deal, so they didn't make the deal, okay? First off, he's saying that he hasn't spoke to Trevor Whitman or the UFC. However, he's got a credible source. What is this credible source? Well, it's an article from MMA Mania that he's found with a quote from Joe Rogan saying that the UFC aren't willing to uh, buy the licensing. They want to buy it outright. And Trevor Whitman doesn't want to sell. He, wa he wants to license the product. And that's where the, the, he's got that from. It's from MMA Mania. I'll post. I'll put the, the clip up just so you can see that. Now, if he'd have done his research, he would have found a credible source, which the credible source is Trevor Whitman. He did go on the Joe Rogan podcast. They did speak about this. And this was in 2020. Uh, so four years ago, this was said. And he hasn't found this because he's lazy. But the, the source is there. It, that, that quote is from that podcast. The issue is there with a company called Diaco. That's one who makes the manufacturing products. And they wanted to own the technology because all of our stuff is patented. I've went through the patenting processes. I put so the company that years. makes the UFC gloves wants to own your shit completely. They eh. no no they, <laughs> they don't want to own it. The UFC wants to own it. Oh come so on. absolutely on anything you want me to swear on. That is what I was told was that the UFC wants to buy the entire design, buy the patent, and Trevor does not want to sell the patent. He wants to keep the patent and license them to the UFC. 
Jesse on fire, you absolute barefaced liar. You've been caught out, absolutely caught out. You've got no credible sources. The source is Trevor Whitman. He broke the story. You did not break the story. You're acting like you did, but you you re basically you just reread an article um from MMA Mania and then tried to claim it as your work and your research. You did nothing. You just reread some piece of shit article that didn't even quote the source properly. I've quoted the source properly. I did the research. You're welcome, Jesse on fire. You absolute fucking piece of shit. And in addition to that, I'm going to give you guys a treat. I'm going to give you guys a little treat, okay? So last night on my live stream, people were like, hey, dude, you should do stand-up. The guy has got delusions of grandeur. He's got a massive ego. He thinks he's good at stand-up. He thinks he's got credible sources. He thinks he's close to everyone in the MMA community. But his stand-up is trash. His credible sources, I've just proven, aren't credible. And there's only one thing left to do. Let's check out his stand-up. I do apologize. It is pretty bad. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And I was like, I know I should. And I'm, I will do that. And everybody's saying that it takes two years to get good at stand-up. Uh-uh. It'll take me one try to be good at stand-up. The point I was making is that stand-up comedy's not that hard. It's not that hard. Not that hard. Huh. He was fucking huge too, dude. Enormous. And I was trapped in the elevator with this fucking guy too, dude. Huh. He's staring at me. Huh. Do we know each other? Huh. Yes, we do. You told me to eat a sandwich. And you know what? I did. And I felt all better. Thanks, Jackie on fire.